Earlier this week I showed you how to systemlessly root your pixel in Pixel XL. And we do systemless type mods to make it easier for you to accept an over the air update. Now Google has recently pushed out a new update for the Pixel devices so today I wanted to show you how to accept an over the air update after you have rooted your device with the systemless method. So as you can see here we have SuperSU installed. It opens up, it doesn't give it an error. It's telling us that the device is not rooted so that we do have root access. You see this is a sample ac application to show you that we are rooted. So once you have an OTA update waiting, you're going to need to launch the Super SU application. Then you'll want to tap on the Settings tab. And you're going to scroll down. And you want to tap on this Full Unroot option. Now if you've been watching the previous videos or following along in the full tutorials, you've seen me demonstrate how to do a full unroot so you're just going to tap on that full unroot option gives you a brief explanation of what's going to happen just tap on continue then it asks you if you, you want SuperSU to attempt to, ex to restore the stock boot image since this is required for OTA updates to succeed we want to tap on yes and then it asks if you want SuperSU to attempt to restore the stock recovery image. Now if you did the exact steps I outlined in the systemless root tutorial, you will not have a custom recovery installed. So we can just go ahead and tap on no. You'll see a little dialog box pop up that says that it is uninstalling. And then as you can see, it will reboot your Pixel phone. So not only did it remove the installed SuperSU binary, but it also restored our stock kernel, which is the boot image. For SuperSU to work, it needs to make some modifications to the kernel, and that's why we want to restore it, because if there's any modifications made to the kernel or if you're using a custom kernel you cannot accept that over the air update so now you can see we have booted back into Android we do not have the SuperSU application installed anymore once the device has been rebooted we can go ahead and tap the settings, go to about phone, and then tap on system updates just in case you didn't get that over the air update notification or you just didn't want to wait for it. So you just want to tap on that over the air update notification. You can see we have a system update available. Tap on download and install to accept the over the air update. then we're just going to let the phone do its thing and install the update for us. Once the update has been downloaded, it will start the install process. And you just want to be patient and wait for this to happen. There's nothing special here. Even if you don't have root, it will still be going through these steps.
I'm installing the latest update, which is Android 7.1.1, which, as you can see here, has a 263 megabyte update, which isn't too big. A lot of the major major updates will be over one gigabyte in size, but compared to something like a monthly security update. This is pretty big, so that's why the update's taking some time. Now, if you've made any other changes to your phone as far as modifying the system partitions, you will need to revert those changes as well. So like I showed you, I have uninstalled root, but if you have made any other changes such as installing exposed which isn't available for NuGet yet, but just as an example, or installing a an ad blocker that modifies your host's file, since that requires root, maybe modifying your build prop file, any type of modification that changes the Android system, you're going to need to revert those back to how they were before you ex before you attempt to install the update. Now you can go ahead and try to install the update. It's not going to brick your phone just because you tried to install an over-the-air update that's been rooted with changes. If that happens, you'll just see the phone reboot back into Android and you'll be told that the update has failed. So now we moved on to step two of the system update. And as we're getting close to the end of this update, again, I just wanted to remind you that if this over the air update fails, it's because there are other changes that have been made to the Android operating system. Again, this could be a root application or a modified build prop file. Something else has been changed to the device that is preventing Android from being updated. Since there are so many different types of root modifications and apps and tweaks and customizations out there that require changes to the system partition it's virtually impossible for me to be able to tell you what has changed and how you'll be able to fix it if it's absolutely vital that you get onto the latest version of Android then I'll advise you to go through my previous tutorials and look at the one that shows you how to revert back to stock Android. That will wipe all of the data from your phone. So be sure to do a backup 
of as much of your data as possible before you do that. And you saw before whenever I went into the settings application to the about section that this phone was running on Android 7.1. Since this update is for Android 7.1.1, I'm just going to let it go through, finish this update and go through the reboot so that I can open up the settings application and show you that it has been fully updated to 7.1.1 now we just need to tap on the restart now to update As usual on the first reboot after an update, first boot cycle will take a little bit longer to boot up than normal just because Android has to set some stuff back up. It needs to create cache data again and, and get you ready for the new update. And we're just going to log back in. And get the notification that is finishing the NuGet update. I'll launch the settings application. And we are now on Android 1.1.1 with the December security patch level. So that's how to update the Pixel and Pixel XL with Systemless Root installed.